What's up guys, welcome to a new video where today we're going to be talking about an upgrade to a product we reviewed a year or two ago, the 22 inch Samsung M8 Smart Monitor. Wait, that's not the right pick, let's try again, the 32 inch Samsung M8 Smart Monitor. That's it, I'm here today to do an unboxing and show you guys what this monitor can actually do, right after this. Welcome back. Now, let's start with the unboxing. It's not often that a product tries to do two things equally well. The M7 Smart Monitor did a decent job of it, but now, let's see if Samsung fixed the weaknesses of its predecessor. It comes in four colors, warm white, spring green, sunset pink, daylight blue. Now, let's see what's in the box. You have the stand with the full metal base, So this is the monitor. So in the pack is the warranty as well as the user guide. You have the micro HDMI to normal HDMI cable. Uh, you have the power cord. You have the USB-C to USB-C cable. You have the power brick. You have the mini remote, which can be charged using USB-C. And finally, we have the attachable camera, which we will talk about later. Okay, it took me a while to assemble this smart monitor, but I finally got it assembled. Uh, as you can see, this stand is also a height adjustable stand. Measured from the surface of the table to the bottom bezel is 3.6 centimeters at its lowest setting to 15.6 centimeters at its highest height. This monitor has many different features, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, wireless decks, USB-C, HDMI connectivity and support for AirPlay 2. It can also turn into a smart TV entertainment hub where you can enjoy content from your favorite apps such as HBO Max, Hulu, Disney Plus, all while viewing on a 4K display with a refresh rate of 60Hz. One of the standout features for this year is the slim fit 1080p HD webcam that comes with every monitor. This comes in handy for video conferencing and online classes. The camera can be conveniently attached or detached from the monitor at any time. It's connected using pogo pins, so there's no need for wires. Features-wise, it comes with a face tracking feature that automatically tracks and centers on users if they move during video calls, as well as an auto zoom feature that subtly zooms in on their face when speaking. Okay, let's talk about ports. There are three ports in all, one micro HDMI port, one upstream USB-C port and one downstream USB-C port. The middle port also supports 65 watt charging. It has 2.2 channel stereo speakers, so there's no need to purchase and set up a separate audio system if you don't want to, but I would still recommend. One of the things that caught my attention was that you could use this monitor like a PC, but without connecting it to a PC. Visually, the monitor has HDR 10 plus support, 99% sRGB color gamut and 400 nits of brightness. You can also wirelessly connect a keyboard and mouse to this monitor and if you need some more horsepower you can connect your Samsung M8 monitor to your PC using HDMI or wirelessly using AirPlay 2 or TapView. I still don't have an Android device or I would show you how TapView works. Another great feature this monitor has is that it comes with adaptive picture and eye saver mode, which will automatically adjust screen brightness and blue light levels. If you're not impressed yet, this entertainment hub uses voice control using Samsung Bixby, Amazon Alexa, or Google Assistant, and it has Samsung SmartThings integration for a more accessible experience. Now, this screen only has a 60Hz refresh rate, so I wouldn't say it's optimal for intense gaming, but it is definitely great for occasional gaming. And with the Gaming Hub, you are able to stream Xbox games over the cloud. The retail price is $7.99, but you can usually get it discounted for much cheaper during the holiday season. Now, a view would not be complete without looking at its downsides. It doesn't have any legacy connections, such as component connections or composite connections. This could be a problem if you have a legacy console, such as a Wii or PS3. Its brightness is 400 nits of brightness, which is brighter than its predecessor. 
but it's not as bright as most current generation TVs. Now, would I recommend it? It's stylish and it looks good on any desk. It contains a Tizen software with its great entertainment options. It also has a lot of connectivity options such as remote access and AirPlay 2. And you can use Microsoft Office without any computer connected. I think it is a great option for college students or anyone who doesn't have a lot of space. But if you've got the space, I would still definitely recommend buying a separate TV and a separate PC monitor. If you like this video and want to keep up with the latest reviews, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is JC Tech and Finance, signing out.